this video, I'm gonna show you how you're going to remove and replace the driver's side keypad on a 13 through a 19 Ford Escape. You wanna start by removing the door panel and the door latch and reinforcement and the exterior door handle. I have video showing you how to do all of that. So once you do that, after you get to that point, you're gonna take the wiring harness that the door latch was connected to. Come up in here, I've got a light to make it a little more visible. There's gonna be one clip that holds a connector about here, and then a little gray one that goes in that hole there. You're gonna remove both of those. And then on this connector, there's gonna be a little tab in the back you push down to separate those. This is the harness for the keypad. Go ahead and place your window regulator back into the hole here, just so it's lined up. And, and go ahead and replace your window switch, because you're gonna be rolling the window down a little bit. While you have the opportunity to roll the window down, take it all the way down. Come over here and remove these two seven millimeters. Take this bracket away so that this black plastic bezel can be removed that just pulls down with a little bit of clips up front there is a main piece here that's held in with three white clips that just pulls free uh, the clips are brittle so be careful not to break them after that bezel has been removed out of the way you're gonna come in here and pull your weather stripping away for the inside of the door here that's gonna access some t20 torques there's going to be three of those. Go ahead and remove those three. After the three torques have been removed from these locations, you can pry from the top outwards and then pull forward and kind of give it a lift and it's going to pop out of place. There is a hook on this back side here, which is why you pull it around. It kind of hooks to the edge of the door frame here. And then this is why I said to remove those clips. You can just pull straight up on this harness and remove it. Should be able to finagle them out as long as you remove the clips. Okay, I was able to pull it out of there. I was having a little bit of trouble because this little plastic uh, pushpin clip that attaches to the connector goes in this hole here uh, was getting stuck, but. Um, you can finagle it out of there, it's just a little difficult. But uh, yeah, that's how you remove it.